Hello everyone, my name is Bradley, I have a Brad taste in music, and today I'm going to be reacting to the debut EP from Dream, titled To Whoever Wants to Listen, or To Whoever Wants to Hear, Listen, okay? Let's get the obvious out of the way, I'm filming offline for obvious reasons, there's been a problem with bullying in this community, so uh, yeah, I figure let's not make it worse by having a bunch of people say a bunch of stuff they'd probably regret if they weren't online over here next to me. And two, I'm sick. I'm very sick, so having to deal with that and deal with clowns in chat doesn't sound fun. Now listen, I haven't enjoyed anything I've heard from Dream, but oh my god. Oh my god, this is brutal. Average score 13 out of 100 with 884 ratings is absurd. I mean, that is insanely low. Uh, and extremely popular as well, as everyone decided to take a peek and has all decided that it's pretty bad. It's gotten hit with the I'm 14 and this is deep tag. Uh, along with a lot of other stuff. Wait, what? <laughs> Dream is a Minecraft YouTuber who's turned to prolific musical artist for some reason, and every single statement that they have come out with sounds like complete and utter crap. Hence, Exhibit A! To whoever wants to hear, slow down, enjoy your life. You only experience this kind of love and happiness once. Don't point a spotlight on the fear and sadness. Point one at the moments that make you feel like you're on top of Everest. Point one at the people that make you feel invincible because you are. You live forever in their minds. You live forever in those moments. Be yourself until you end up dead. <laughs> yeah. Like that's ever gonna happen. Oh, I love it. Maybe I go into this thing and I see Dream's vision. I'm hoping that that's what happens, because if not, it's going to be a painful 17 minutes. And this time, I don't have chat to distract me. So we're going in raw, and we're just going to experience exactly what Dream has to offer. First song, slow down. Oh, I see. <clears throat> it's deep. This, it's, I remember you was conflicted. Misusing your influence. Sometimes I did the same. But like, for Dream, because all the songs, they, they like tie together to this. That's, that's what it is, bro. It's 1999, I opened up my eyes. It'd be a minute till the first time that I felt alive. All right, sweet, pause. So immediately the first thing it reminds me of is the wonderful song by AJR, Birthday Party. I'd like to sincerely apologize for what you're about to hear, but I am going to play the entirety of it. So thank you. Starting off this narrative exactly when they're born, but in the AJR song, uh, Birthday Party, what happens is they learn that a minute after they're born that the world is not that great because, uh, because you know, the world doesn't let you pick your political le leaders and they aren't nice to immigrants. Uh, beep, 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 and then it's like a big old pop song. Uh, <clears throat> let's hope it doesn't go in that direction. I learned a wheelie from watching some random YouTube videos. I live behind a screen, blink a couple times, and I'll be 25. No, how beautiful. Okay, so here's the thing. He's doing some Owl City shit, but he doesn't really have the voice to carry it, in my opinion. Now, the sentiment here is fine. He's talking about how, yes, he grew up behind a screen, and it was difficult for him to make these connections and whatnot. Um, but however... Uh, Dream does not seem like someone who has it all together. It's deep because he said snow falls down and then he says summer will spring up on you again. Y you get it? It's fall, winter, summer, spring. Bro, it's a cycle. It's deep. Wait, are you sure? Hope they finally made those crazy cars that can fly. Now, of course, I'm missing a vital part of this whole thing. <clears throat> the project's called the Whoever Wants to Listen. I don't want to listen. You don't want to listen. If you're watching this video, you're not here to listen and be open-minded, okay? But I will give it a fair shot, and I will say that, yeah, it seems like Dream is trying to do something meaningful and profound. Uh. 
production here, it just sounds very compressed. Nothing is all that interesting, musically speaking. It all just kind of, you know, serves the narrative, if you could say. Now, with that being said, I think Slow Down is easily the best song that Dream has ever made. It is the least offensive, it is the most focused. I don't think it sounds good, I don't think he has a great voice, but he manages to make up for that by essentially just sounding like Owl City and being like, oh yeah, you know, you guys can forget I'm Dream through listening to this, right? And the answer is, kinda. Strong, uh, red headphones to a light shrug. Dog Good job, Dream. This is not the worst opener in the world. It's extremely inoffensive, and uh, if it continues on this route, then uh, you know what? It's something to be proud of. Let's continue. Forgot to turn on Private Session. Next song, Kind of Love. Hey there, Delilah. How's it like in New York City? my biggest fear to whoever wants to know is I would go total disconnection. Oh, I feel like throwing up too listening to this snap beat. That's something we have in common, Dream. Jesus Christ. Okay, I can't with this Mumford and Sons bullshit, man. What is this? See, it's like, it's one thing if you want to make something deep and profound. It's another thing when you decide, you know what? I'm going to make it sound like the biggest pile of pop garbage that's ever existed. And then, like, as someone with no experience in pop music, jump in and just do what everybody else does, but slightly worse. To make it so it's insufferable and you just sound like a complete fraud. Yeah, if you can't tell, I find it very offensive that the artistic choices throughout this project so far have all been uh, to service themselves in the world of pop. Uh, and not doing it well either, doing it in the cheapest, most derivative way possible. It's hard to listen to, essentially. From a place inside my heart, there's a light inside the dark. Even when you're far away, next to me is where you'll stay. These harmonies are absolutely terrible. This whole thing comes off as just, again, very amateurish. Which, again, I don't have an issue with if you're actually trying to play into that. What is this hollowed out crap that I am suffering through? We have, we have a different kind of love. Forever isn't far away. Grandpa fought in World War II. A little far away. Hey, 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 hey. Living life like renegades, renegades. Even if you're in the wrong, huh? My hands smell like seafood because before I was filming, I decided to order myself a, a, a seafood bag. You're like, what? what is a seafood bag? Okay, I'm talking lobster tail. I'm talking half a crab. Okay, I'm talking shrimp. I'm talking red potatoes. I'll put in a bag full of butter, all right? And my hands smell like I just came out of red lobster. Oh yeah, kind of love is horrendous. It is disgusting. It sounds like Dream making a Hallmark card, uh, much like how he made his first song ever, sounding like he's never written in a, uh, a day in his life. Giving it uh, red headphones. Dog Maybe it's so far away. Maybe life is not so great. I shoot your bitch in the motherfucking face. I hit that bit with the motherfucking lace. I hit that bit with the motherfucking lace and I hit that bit with the motherfucking face. Next song. Yeah. Oh, uh, uh, sign by Sarah. These bitch trying to set me up. Uh, uh, maybe I'm just paranoid and I don't know how the shit go. Anyways, paranoid. Oh Jesus. You're my medicine, cause now I'm finding out you're not a friend again. You're Okay, so the vocals here are not good. Okay, so we it starts off with songs that are sickening because of how they're put together and how they're assembled, and now we get songs that are sickening because we get to see Dream's extremely immature side trying to make a song uh, without the help of somebody who's looking over and saying, yeah, maybe that's not a good idea. Because I'm paranoid. 
paranoid cuz i don't have a choice jesus christ jesus christ man and this song's only 2 minutes long it starts off this bad you've never been they don't need evidence dude jesus christ this is so annoying it's like listen all right subject matter real friends how many of us how many of us smile at each other trust issues i can't be bothered i switch a number you know it's nothing new but uh but usually when they're being done they sound like the person who's making them they're, they're taking it seriously you're not my friend again oh wait you've never been oh i got attitude and no gratitude and i hit your bitch with that microsoft wait that's not what I- okay. So, one thing I can give is the song feels very complete, like it goes through enough phases even throughout the two minutes. Now, does it mean I enjoyed a single moment of that song? Absolutely not. In fact, I thought it was completely insufferable from beginning to end. So, for me, it's a red headphones. Dog. Singing is terrible. Uh, feels like I'm listening to not even music, like I'm just listening to torture. Alright, next song, Spotlight. Alright, Dream, you're on a bit of a losing streak as expected, but you know what? It could turn around, you never know. We're not even at the lowest rated stuff, are we? Nope. Spotlight. Doesn't this start identical to the last song? Okay, excuse me for a second. I'll be your number one fan. You're the only one I stand. Okay, very sweet. He's saying I'll be yours forever and always. Got me screaming in the front row. I'll be there any time with a ticket in my hand. He's enthusiastic to meet up with this person. Play together till the credits roll. All right, well, credits roll. I mean, technically... Uh, oh, maybe he's saying, like, on life, you know, the credits will roll. Oh, look into your eyes like, whoa, they always shine so bright. I see the limelight, I can't describe the glow, I want to put you in the spotlight, turn off the cameras, now you're all mine. So as he's saying that like, now the cameras are off, and he's the only person there remaining. Okay, you know what, I am following along with it, it's making a bit more sense, but I'll just say it right now, I'm sick, I got a dizzy head, I hear this shit, and I'm like, this sounds convoluted and ridiculous. But, upon listening and dissecting the lyrics, it makes perfect sense, alright, it's a great song. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. See, that's the other thing is Dream is like the antithesis of a sex symbol. And the predatory charges on top of it, you know what I mean? Like that shit. Nah, bro. You know what I'm saying? Nah, dude. Listen, this album might have been a pretty reasonable flop. Alright, but I need you to understand something. Nobody understood Kanye West when he dropped, uh, you know, 808s and Heartbreaks. A and I feel like what we're witnessing here is a very similar situation, except for, you know, imagine if 808s and Heartbreaks was actually... Anyways, so yeah, I give that a red headphones. I thought that that was Dog. torture. I thought that was incredibly cringe, even though it made perfect sense. You know, it really does. But, uh, but Dream, no. All right, now we get to the song with the only feature on this project. It's with Young Gravy. So you already know this is going to be a Young Gravy feature. Next, yeah, this is called Everest. All right. DJ Kevin! The dude has no vocal charisma, no vocal power or passion, it all just sounds fake. Like he's trying his hardest to essentially fit into a mold he doesn't fit into, and it's so awkward. I mean, just li literally like listen to someone who's like a fantastic vocalist. This is someone who I go towards a lot when it comes to this because I feel like they're just someone who has basically the style. You know, you love them or hate them for what songs they create. I feel like they have something 
to deliver to the table. And that, of course, is Caroline Polechik. Polechik, I mean, I fucked that up. I, I got away you standing still. I'm waiting for me, won't let The slightest touch and I feel we cannot lie. Nothing else but right here, right now. Still up on that mountain top, getting yeah, mountain top. What does this have to do with the song or anything or this album or anything or anything of value at all? Got my money just right, call me Goldilocks. A link dream with a fine last. Now he's playing Hobbs and I started playing Minecraft. So I like <sighs> this is real, dude. I'm sorry, but like if you go out of your way to listen to this shit, then you are definitely chronically online. There's nothing else but right here, right now. Yeah, the beat sounds terrible, the chorus sounds awful, the Young Gravy feature is embarrassing, is, it, it feels forced and awkward, and I don't know, man. It, it's somehow the best part of this song, but also at the same time, it's the worst part of this song, because nothing else happens, and I don't think it's good. Yeah, it's confusing, and it's bad. I don't like it. Red headphones. Dog. I thought that was a disaster. Next song, Invincible, Like You. Because mad at you, I was so young. You're so sane. I lost you, I was so mad. I need so I need something. I need something more. I know it's without you, I got nothing to punch. Just wondering if I. This song literally feels like it lasts forever, bro. Invincible Like You is probably one of the most boring, derivative pop songs I've ever heard in my entire life. It feels so gutless. It feels so pointless. It feels so empty and uninspiring. I'm going to give it a strong... I lost my way again. In a light red headphones. Final song is the one I've already heard, Until I End Up Dead. That path you walked was I saw me when I looked at you I've been playing in my head Till I end up dead Really not handling this death thing all that well Essentially wearing a suit But the real suit it's wearing is Your friend's death Disappear, look in the mirror To make sure I'm still standing here I It's a red headphone, so Here's the thing, is the first song on this is Dog. the only song I feel like is inoffensive and compelling. It, both at the same time, as I feel like the majority of these songs are just essentially inoffensive. It feels like somebody first discovering their emotions and instead of actually diving into that and making something of it and taking care of themselves and developing it and then making great art, it's rather just skipping all those steps and going from uh, learning your very simple emotion that you have been very behind on and then making art about it and it feels awkward it feels weird it feels disconnected from the world and i genuinely just don't think that this was the next step to take making music i think that it ended up in just a, a complete disaster uh i feel like the only people who really fucked with it were little kids because they're in the same boat. They just don't understand how the world works. They don't understand their emotions. And as a result, they don't understand why this music sucks ass. I'm feeling a light one on this project. A zero to a light one. Dog <sighs> Yeah, this is Baby Tyke's first album, uh, Dream. I only hope that moving forward, you can learn from this project and maybe actually you know, take a step away from music and do something useful with yourself and then come back to making music because I don't feel like this is the outlet for you. I feel like this is probably just causing more damage uh, as essentially what you're doing here is uh, using your music as therapy instead of, you know, getting actual help and then calling it to whoever wants to hear as in whoever, you know, is dumb enough to fall for this crap and buy it. Peace!